trust as those people? This is a question also very strange from people who should believe in God. Okay? Humans have the choice to choose. Okay? No, no, no. When we say trust, we say trust. It's a trust. It means I believe that you are good. Correct, guys? When somebody trusts somebody, trust is about... It's a big word. It means I believe you are good. Because if I don't believe you are good, I will never trust you. Do you trust Satan? Do you trust Satan, Mr. Muslim, your mind? As I said, uh, Christian Prince, my third language are English. Okay, you are just playing with words. I I meant by trust. I meant God gave them responsibility. Okay, and they failed in this responsibility. We are in this life. We are all living in tests by God. I think uh, clear now. Please, my good. Well, it is your God who said the word trust, not you. Trust me, trust. He trusted them to protect the gospel. He trusted them to protect the Torah. He trusts. This is mean he did not know that they will destroy the book. And this is mean Allah cannot be God. Because God, he knew the future. Your mind. Okay, I just made a little search, okay? Let's forget what I am saying, and let's forget what you are saying. Why we don't see what the Bible says and the Holy Quran says, okay? Uh, do you understand Arabic, Mr. Christian, yes? Uh, read, please, Acts from the Bible, Acts 7.53, okay? الَّذِينَ أَخَذْتُ مِنْ نَمُوسَ بِتَرْتِيبَ مَلَائِكَتُ وَلَمْ تَحْفَظُوا Okay? So, God here says that you took the laws and you didn't uh, memorize it. While in the Holy Quran, God promised that he will uh, save his words. Okay? I think this supports what I just was saying to you from the Bible and from the Quran. My question. Well, the verse you mentioned to me, it's talking about those hypocrites who did not follow the book. It's mean you did not keep the words. You did not keep the following. You did not keep the law. When you do adultery, you are not keeping the law. When you do steal, you are, not, you are a thief. You are not keeping the law. So this is a verse speaking to those who they are hypocrites who do not follow the words. So the Bible corrupt them because it is the, it is the verse itself saying that. If this book is corrupted, how the verse itself is saying, read me. Secondly, you said that the Quran says, What is zikr in Islam? Is it the Quran? It is not. Chapter 21, verse number 105, it says, وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الزُّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ الزِّكْرِ So the zikr came before the zabur. So Allah in here saying, I protected the songs. Because the zabur, it's not the Quran. And this is a chapter 21, verse 105, read it. Thank you very much for mentioning this. And we just to prove that the accusation of Muhammad is a big fat lie. Because the Quran itself is saying that we protected the zikr. And the zikr is even before the book of Moses. According to Islam, this is the book of David. No mind. Uh, first of all, 
Okay. You forgot a very important thing. The Holy Quran also says how the Bible was corrupted. For example, you write things from your hands and say this is from God. For example, Catholics have 73 books in their Bible, Protestants 66 books. No, sir. All of us, we have the same books. The difference between the Catholic and the Protestant, they don't agree about putting them all in one cover. This is the whole idea. But we approve all those books. And the stupid he told you that is a stupid. All the books they have, it's approved by Christians. It doesn't matter what the church they go to. The difference is, if we put them all in one cover, or we don't, in any way, we're not making a difference. Because the Bible for us is books, not one book. Correct, guys? The Bible, anyway, is books, a lot of books. Because God spoke to messengers a long time ago, before even Christ. So, either we have them all. Let us say, we divided the Bible to, to 60 or 60 books or 70 books. Still, we did not do anything because it's the same books. It, they are the same exact books and all of us, we approve it. The difference is, if we put them all in one cover or we don't, well, what a big deal. Now, in your Quran, let us see what the problem. You said, you mentioned to me, that they change the location of the words, right? This is the verse you mentioned, you bet the Luna. al kulum وَمِنَ الَّذِينَ هَادُوا يُحَرِّفُونَ الْكُلُمْ عَنْ مَوَضِعِهِ They change the location of the words. Do you agree with that? This is corruption. The one who changed verses, location, is corrupted. Do you agree with that? Your mind? Okay, this is another kind of corruption. This is what you mentioned. I said the Holy Quran mentioned the different corruptions that you made in the Bible and in your uh, face. For example, don't say three, Trinity. You take uh, from Jesus, you made him God. One, one by one, let us talk about the first one. You mentioned to me a verse saying that those who change location of verses, they are doing corruption. Correct? Do you agree with that? Do you agree with the Quran that the one who changed location of verses is corrupt in the book, your mind? Again, first of all, if you want to focus on the subject, so let's focus on the first one, okay? Because all what you said are very wrong. Each church have its own Bible. There, there is different... Christian in the room, is it true that each church have different Bible? This is absolutely false. We have a lot of a translation. The Muslims, they have a translation of Yusuf Ali, the translation of Biktal, the translation of Dr. Mohsen. Does that mean that those, each one of them is different Quran? This is mean that the Islam is corrupted too. Secondly, I'm asking you a question and you're trying to avoid to answer, simply because this will show you 87 books, you know, we have 100 books, just to make you happy. But still, it's the same books everybody have. When you say it, and by the way, the Muslim, uh, the Shia Quran is not the same as the Muslim uh, Sunni Quran, the Daruz Quran is not the same as the Bataniya, Ismailiya Quran, each one has his own Quran. And the Quran you have today in your hand, it's not even the Quran of Muhammad, it's called the Quran of Uthman. The book of Uthman, it is not even the book of Allah. Is it true that the Quran you have today in your hand, it's called the book of Uthman? For sure you will say yes. Why? Because this is the book of Uthman, not the book of Allah. And we will prove that in a second. What is the first chapter was given to Muhammad, Mr. Muslim? What was the first chapter was given to Muhammad? Your mind. 